loterías catalanas ante la cuota que les impone las GAE de pagar por tener música en sus establecimientos han animado a sus clientes a traer ellos su propia música, pero los clientes ya tienen suficiente con pensar en si se hacen la permanente o unas mechas. Y es por eso que Hamster Loco también aporta libremente su música a las peluquerías. Música que se puede exportar, pegar, copiar, reproducir a gusto del cliente. In Spain, the SRAE charges hairdressing salons for having the radio on. And they charge radio stations for broadcasting the same content. They use a flat fee that disregards whether the material broadcast is part of its repertory or not. They charge for everything twice over. This is Martí. He's a sound recordist. He likes to use sounds from hairdressing salons. It's a bit of a professional obsession. He made a song using these sounds and thought the least he could do is give the hairdressers a copy. This is Aleish. He loves going to the hairdressers, but he can't help feeling that the hairdresser puts the pesh mode on every time it's his turn. He's a bit paranoid, so he thinks they do it for him and he doesn't like the pesh mode. This is why he made a CD for his regular salon. This is Kolomek. He put together a special selection. And if they start having a go at butchers, then he'll make a selection for them too. There are Esraia fees for everything, so soon there will be selections for hospitals, workplaces, swimming pools, parking stations. He's going to be busy. They have chosen to give their music away. The grateful hairdressers have decided to give something in return. For the past 15 years, Hamster Loco have been making music and they feel that if a middleman started to sell their songs, they would lose the freedom to distribute their own work. The idea of charging to be heard does not always translate into more earnings, though it probably means less listeners. And, as the poet says, if you don't make it into the top 10, at least you can make it into the top manta, favourites sold illegally on the streets. People often think that Creative Commons licences equal giving your work away. In reality, the system allows contracts to be signed and music to be sold under legal protection and validity. 